going to daddy number 13 we'll figure it out enter the forest <laughs> when he's very ready to get out of the car oh they're so cute oh my goodness is it oh my gosh come on how freaking cute okay i want to back in Winnie. This is our little house. This is our little spot. It's Dottie. Oh, come on. How cute. Look at our fire pit. Well, hello. Welcome to Getaway Outpost Chicago. I am here in June with my pup, Winnie. That's right, Getaway. Outposts are pet friendly. I think just for dogs. I saw somewhere somebody asked if they could bring the, their cat and the answer was no. We interrupt this programming to tell you what we're doing. <laughs> She's so cute. My fluff ball. This dog, by the way, this is not a camping dog. She overheats easily. She's almost 12. She's a fluffy princess. She's likes the air conditioning and that's one of the reasons I picked this place because I thought it would be a good pl place to have an experience with her where I can't normally take her like when I want to do car camping or long trips through national parks that don't allow dogs and things like that. Um, so kind of a, a good way to, to do the outdoorsy thing with my very princessy fluff ball. We are here for the weekend to try something new which is something I've been really enjoying doing lately. Travel, solo travel specifically, uh, exploring new experiences, different ways to be outdoors, especially. And this is a way that is very much, I kind of like to think of it as glamping on steroids because as you can see behind me, this is a beautiful, tiny home-esque cabin and that's what the outpost consists of. So Getaway, I believe they have over a dozen outposts now all over the country. So there may very well be one near you if you live in the U.S. And this took me about, well, with traffic, it took me four hours to get here, but I think on a non-traffic day, I would have taken just about three hours to drive here from my home in the suburbs of Chicago. So really, really accessible. It's in Michigan. It's very close to South Haven, which is a popular beach town uh, flanking the east coast of Lake Michigan. Uh, and also Saugatuck, which is just up north, about a half an hour up the coast. So those are very popular Michigan beach towns that um, are popular attractions for this part of the country. And this is inland and as you can see, pretty much in the forest. It's really peaceful and beautiful. And I just had to try it. I saw an ad for it on Instagram this winter and I think it was new at that point. This is one of their newer outposts, the Chicago one. And I saw it and I thought, yes. I've had a fascination for tiny homes and tiny house living in the past few years. It's clearly not how I live my life in suburbia normally, but I am interested and in it and intrigued by it. Um, and I've also been really interested in experiencing different ways of camping, hybrid camping, camping between car camping and actual camping and van van lifing and overlanding and all these things and this just fits right into that it really is glamping on steroids 
This little house right here, this little cabin, has air conditioning and heat, running water, a shower, a toilet, and a queen size bed, which by the way, is pretty much like sleeping on a cloud. I booked this many months ago and was super excited to give it a try and I am just as excited to share my experience with you. So let's, um, let's check it out, shall we? All right, let's go in. I don't know how to do this, I'll figure it out. I get to put in a code. <gasps> it works! Winnie, come in! you can get up those steps. Winnie, where are you going? Don't go under, oh boy. This is adorable. And it's air conditioned, I feel it. Oh my goodness. I love it. All right, before I like bring all my junk in, let's take a look, <laughs> cool enough. I'll do a little tour. It's so adorable. Okay, so I'm in cabin 13, otherwise known as Dottie. When you walk in, you see the bed and that big window, which was really the selling point for me personally, is temperature controlled. Hello, set to 68. What's here? Here's a little note. Hi, Jennifer, welcome to your getaway. Enjoy the s'mores and lotion on us. Oh, that's so nice. They gave me lotion and s'mores. <laughs> I brought s'more stuff, but you know, cute. And here's some stuff for the pup. Aw, they gave her treats. Look at this. This place is to stow your bags or your dog or whatever. I love this. Oh, the bed feels really nice. Oh, there's the air conditioning. Okay, well, that works. Uh, cast iron cleaning. Oh, there must be a cast iron pan. There's some books and it looks like a speaker. Oh, a mirror. <laughs> See, I didn't bring any of this stuff because they said they had it. Is this an induction burner? This, or is it just a regular burner? It might be just a regular burner, but they have all the utensils you need, pot, pan, cutting board, little fridge. Very nice. What's in here? Trash can and stuff. Very nice. I have paper towels. I brought my own just in case. And then over here, when he's like, why are we in this tiny house? <laughs> this is the cutest bathroom. Like a real toilet. I thought it might be like some sort of camping toilet. Nope. First aid kit. Towels. Good, because I didn't bring that. Shampoo conditioner right in there in a shower. Come on. What more do you need? I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Crying already again. We're gonna have fun. You're so cute. She's like, I'm not sure about this. What do you think? What if I gave you a treat? Oh, yeah. So, as I do, I brought a lot of stuff, mostly food. Let me find Winnie's treats. Come here. Sit. Sit. Sit down. Wow, good shake. Good girl. All right, well, I brought my usual, kind of new to me, but usual new to me camping things like my mug with a lid so I can walk with my hot beverage in the morning. Citronella candle. Is it citronella even? I don't know. It's this Murphy's. I like the Murphy's. I bought, brought the spray as well because bugs. My collapsible Goal Zero Crush Light. And this is just a trash bag and some plastic gloves if I want to like rubber gloves. I mean if I want to, if there's any trash I need to pick up. But this campsite is pristine and an extra Ziploc baggies. Winnie's things or treats and food. This is like my to-go snack pack if I'm going to drive anywhere. And then this is all the dried 
non-perishable goods. Some spices to make um, chickpeas with. That's Winnie drinking from her little water stand. She's thirsty, so we're gonna let her do. Extra snacks, stuff to make s'mores, crackers, chips, steel cut oats, some ramen, and some granola. Oh, and honey. And I brought these two tools, kitchen tools from home, a garlic press and a lemon squeezer, which I'm gonna use for limes to make guacamole. And the one thing I forgot was my marshmallow roasters. So well, luckily they provided me with sticks, so that works out. And then in my Yeti, which I love, by the way, I use it even just to put um, like frozen groceries in when I'm not coming straight home from the store. I keep it in my trunk all the time. I love it. Anyway, in it, I have all the perishable food. I brought a lot of stuff. I always kind of err on the side of too much food and too little. Some buns. Here, we'll put it away together. What do you think? You gonna help? She's like, no, I'm not gonna help. Um, chocolate for the s'mores. It's air conditioned here, so I don't need to put that in there. I brought some zucchini and some avocados. Those don't need to go in the fridge because I'm gonna cut them up tonight. Some peppers. I'm planning on, instead of making like a cooked meal for dinner, I thought it'd be really fun to make like a, a snack board. And I got a lot of stuff. I, got, I haven't tried this um, dairy-free spreadable cheese, but I like Kite Hill products a lot, so I have high hopes for that. Got the artichoke kalamata hummus. I got some cucumbers for the uh, the crudite, I guess. I, I already went ahead and prepped all the berries for two mornings of breakfasts. Because I do this like steel cut oats thing, I'll show you. I brought some veggie dogs. I haven't tried this one again but uh, yet, but I really like field and roast products in general. So I've got kind of high hopes for that. Put that on the bottom maybe. I bought some of this kind of fake cheese. You notice a lot of fake cheese things. This is for the guacamole. Uh, this is chai. It's like a wet chai. It's delightful. Put that there. This is my coconut almond milk. I didn't want to bring the whole honkin', you know, big thing, so I just brought that. I think that'll work out. I've never tried this, um, this queso, but I tried their other one a couple weeks ago when I was car camping and I really liked it, but this is like the spicier one, I guess, and it's not focusing on it. There it is. So we'll give that a try. A lime. And speaking of lime, a couple of lime LaCroix. And this is my new favorite um, plant-based yogurt. It's uh, bourbon vanilla. I also like their other flavors, but the bourbon vanilla is really nice. And yeah. That's it. So now I've got my little stack here. I'm going to put all the dry goods away, make it nice and tidy as I do. And then I'm going to take this one on a little explore around the, around here. See what we, have a little walk, huh? As if it couldn't get more magical in this evening light. Somebody's blasting a million dreams from The Greatest Showman. And I love it. When he's like, where, where are we going? It's too beautiful. I had to stop and show you. Look at this magic. I go the other way, you won't see me at all, but this is obviously the sunset spot. Come back here in like an hour to watch the sunset. That sounds like a plan. So tired. Good thing there's air conditioning. Honestly, I would not have brought her without it. That was a good little initial explore. I think I'm going to let this little one cool off and I'm just going to do a 20 minute run because I dressed in my workout clothes this morning and then I just got behind on time. I don't really have anything set. Like, I don't have any plans, clearly. But I don't even have like, do I need to make dinner if I'm not hungry? No. Do I need to build a fire if I don't feel like it? No. I probably will do those things, 
But right now, I really want to do like a quick little 20 minute run because there's only so far I can take her. She gets real hot real fast. She's almost 12 and a fluffy princess. Um, but it's nice and cool in here, so I think she'll be okay for 20 minutes. And I'm just going to run around the <laughs> compound a few times here and see if I can catch a glimpse of the sunset. I'm real excited to see that. like it's only supposed to rain for an hour or so. It's just beautiful. See that sunrise and now the rain? Winnie's not a fan, but she's doing okay. She's doing okay. I, I love it. It's so beautiful. That sound. I was hoping there would be enough room in here for yoga, and there is exactly enough room in here for yoga. Ugh, I'm having the nicest slow morning. It's just, I'm, I'm just enjoying this so much. My past relationship was a disaster, but now I don't care. Cause you took my scars. Bruises and broken heart Numbed all the pain Show me how to heal And now I don't feel Broken anymore oh, oh, oh. So the sun it's uh, it's about 11.30. It was a very beautiful, slow morning, and I just trust that whatever unfolds is what's meant, meant to be, and in this 
in this situation. I mean, if it hadn't been raining this morning, I would have probably ventured out and been on my feet all day, and that would have been a great kind of adventure, but it was just so beautiful to really relax. I got up early, I went back to sleep, I just lounged about. I did a really, really beautiful, gentle yoga practice. I did my meditation ritual. Um, it just all happened to fit, which was nice. <laughs> and then I made a really scrumptious, well, it's essentially brunch, um, which is one of my go-tos lately. Uh, Steel-cut oats cooked on the stove with um, yogurt and berries and granola. Oh, it's heaven, and I'm just enjoying some chai tea. And giving it another few minutes to kind of warm up and dry up a bit. Because I have Miss Winnie with me, and she really can't do, like, hiking. She's just, it's, she got tired after our little 20-minute loop last night. And I, I know that, about, you know, I understand her limitations very well, um, as she's been my, my fur baby for going on 12 years now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive over to South Haven, which is the closest lakeside town. I don't, I've never been there. And um, kind of walk her around. She likes pavement. She likes sidewalks. Kind of get a, a lay of the land there. And there's some really easy um, trails around there. They're only like a mile um, to just take her around and kind of see the sights. Um, and do that sort of thing. If I was not here with Winnie, there are lots of trails that line the um, parks along the lake. Big dune trails that really would be up my alley, but they're, you know, seven, eight, nine plus mile hikes, and it's just not gonna happen. And I have no way to carry her. Um, like in a bag or anything and she would hate that to be honest like she would do that for maybe an hour and then be like Neh. so that wouldn't work very well but that's all right because that's not what this weekend is not about me hiking for 12 hours this weekend is about enjoying this beautiful getaway and having the rain which you know I, I, I want to say it like forced me to stay inside but it did encourage me to stay inside I have just spent half this day really enjoying this cabin. And that's the reason I picked this. I mean, I knew that the spot is nice with the little fire pit and the little lake nearby and being close to Lake Michigan and, and all the trails here. I mean, that's great. But I picked this because I saw a review. It was like a an article. No, it was an ad on Instagram. Yeah, it was an ad on Instagram that I saw maybe six months ago, um, which is about when they launched this particular outpost, which is the Chicago outpost. Um, and I saw a picture of the interior of the cabin with the big picture window and like this particular view. And I was like, I want to go to there. <laughs> and so um, I booked it months and months ago and I did come and Wow, I love it. It's so peaceful. The rain this morning was so soothing and it was just a beautiful morning and I haven't felt this relaxed in a very long time. Um, it just feels really nice. And I think it's a beautiful spot for solo with pup or without <laughs> people like me or are we really romantic with like a partner and I've seen a lot of families like people with kids they have other uh, cabin options that are lofted this is pretty high ceilings so I'm 5'4 I mean they've got to be eight nine eight maybe eight foot ceilings I'm gonna say um, going up to nine foot is kind of like a slanty thing uh, towards the bed area and that you can get a, like a lofted cabin, which has two queen beds lofted, and you can have your kids on the top, or but you know whoever wants to go where. And I just think it's fun. It's fun for everybody. I uh, I, I had pretty high expect. I try not to have like expectations about places. I have pretty high expectations for this because their marketing is so beautiful, and um, 
extremely uh, well targeted to people like me who love being outdoors but also enjoy having some comfort sometimes. I mean, I, I enjoy, I'm enjoying dipping my toes into like more traditional camping kinds of things, but this is really nice hybrid. If you want to like do the outdoorsy thing and have the beautiful quiet experience, but also have air conditioning and a sink. And I took a shower last night, like, you know, and it's just, and this bed is so comfy. It's like sleeping on a cloud. Anyway, we're, I'm going to get us together and we're going to get in the car and, and see what South Haven has to offer. crowded in town so I parked down by the beach and there's a nice greenway here so I'm not really... but yeah let's see let's see where we end up yeah it's a lonely very quaint and very cute. It was quite crowded, so I didn't really like linger. There were a couple cute bakeries and I was like, mm, I could get a cookie and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna. Winnie was very popular. I just gave her a big drink. She's, she's warm, but she's well hydrated. And they even had this cute little dog store and she, they took a picture of her. <laughs> I think she might be on their Facebook page. I don't even know, but they were all very much enamored of her. She's a star wherever she goes, truly. So it's going on, it's about 1.30, and I think, I'm still full for my brunch. I think I'm gonna drive up to Sagatuck because it's another place that I can easily walk around with her. It's kind of raining too, so it kind of works out that I'm not doing any like big hikes today. I don't mind hiking in the rain, but with her, it just adds an added thing, and I don't know, I'm kind of enjoying just, just kind of, exploring in a very touristy sort of way but uh it's up north i don't know how far it is let's see oh it's a half an hour well why not i'm gonna drive up to sagatuck hope that it's a little clearer up there and see what we get around to <laughs> well we made it to sagatuck like half an hour ago it's a cute town i feel like i've been here as a kid it feels familiar but um, like a really long time ago, so I, I don't quite recall it. Drove around for upwards of half an hour. Tiny town, lots of parking spaces, all completely full. And I figured drive around long enough, you get somebody pulling out. I kept missing them. So they had this sign that you could go park up at the high school um, for, you know, without violating any rules or anything. So it's a bit of a walk, so that's why I'm carrying this one, because she's just, she's tired. But she's cute. Looking back on it all, maybe I can see what was broken.
Mm -hmm. And yeah, could have stayed out longer, but Winnie really needed a, a, a break. The car, even at complete, she's eating now, completely um, air conditioned, she's just still hot because uh, she can't. You know, I, it's hard to, it's like when you're sitting in a car and it's hot outside, even though the air conditioning's on, your seat is hot, right? Where you're sitting, kind of like that. But uh, it ended up being a really good day. Are you eating? Let's see. You were so good and made so many friends. Should we have a couple of <gasps> treats? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For being a good girl today. Oops, I just dropped that one. <laughs> good girl. It would have been a very different day, A, if it hadn't have rained, and B, if I didn't have Winnie with me. I would not have gone to those towns in all likelihood. I might have stopped in Sagatuck later in the evening to like grab dinner or something, but I would have spent the whole day on a trail somewhere. Um, and that's great, but this was also great too, and it's fun to have a little adventure with my girl, because it's, it's hard to do the kind of things that I want to do with her most of the time because she's a, a dog and you can't bring dogs everywhere. And B, she's a fluffy princess and she's going on 12. Um, and while she's fit as a fiddle, she's still, like, I have to be aware of how she's doing um, and if she's comfortable and how tired she is because she's it's not the same as when she was two, you know. But um, it was just a nice day. I just had fun walking around. I didn't, I thought maybe I'd get a bite to eat or even like, I didn't want to stop in a shop or anything. I didn't want to leave her outside, um, even in shady spots by herself. I just, I don't know, being a bit of an overprotective mommy bear, I guess. But it was just fun to kind of walk around and explore. And without an agenda and without any um, kind of like pressure to, be somewhere or find something or whatever. It was just a, a really nice kind of touristy wanderer kind of day and I really enjoyed it. And now it's kind of the heat of the day. It's a, it's about 4.30. It's, it's gotten a bit hotter. It's almost 80 degrees. It was beautiful in Sagatuck. It was sunny and like 72 and perfect weather. Um, so I'm actually really hungry now. I'm gonna make my snack smorgasbord which I'll show you. And then I might do, I have this little pouch I'll show you of um, crafting stuff. And I'm a little behind as usual, but I've been using it for all of my little solo getaways, just with a mobile printer and some washi tape to journal and, and take some little photos and stick them in there. So I wanna work on that this afternoon. That's something I've been meaning to do for a while and it sounds really fun. Okay, so I have this little pouch. It's actually from the dentist when I go get my teeth cleaned. You know how they give you like the toothbrush and the travel toothpaste and floss? It comes in these pouches and they're actually really handy. So that's that's what it is, nothing uh, special. I have my latest mobile printer. This is the Canon Ivy. I've tried many, well, I've tried a couple other of those style printers before. That's my latest one with the little um, paper that you use with it, the zinc paper. And it's adhesive backed, which is really nice because you don't have to like bring glue or anything. I also have a few different rolls of washi just for a little bit of decor. And then this is the book. It's an Allie Edwards travel journal. Um, I started using it upside down, sadly. Uh, but I started putting in some of my photos from my Utah trip in there. And I still have to write in the journaling. I have so much I'm behind on. So I would like to get caught up on that a little bit today. Um, and I did forget to bring my pen, sadly. My, like, special pen that I like to use for documenting. But I have a regular pen that I use with my, my daily journal. So I'll just use that. I'm going to make the little snack snores board first because I am hungry. Oh, my love You're such a fragile thing, I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here at all And oh, my love Worry about 
about the cold just yet. Is there anything more satisfying than a snack smorgasbord meal? It's not a beautiful charcuterie plate or whatever they call those fancy like design plates. I did what I could with what I had. I don't care what it looks like anyway because I'm just eating it. But I'm listening to this podcast and just chilling. Winnie is resting very comfortably on the floor. And I am in heaven. And I'm lying when I say I'm not afraid. But I'm trying to share. journal stuff for a while and then I did like my own little power walk and then I took Winnie on a more leisurely loop and then I did an hour of yin yoga which was delicious and then I booked it down to the lake to um, see the sunset and I just got there at the tail end of it at like 9 15 everything's so late because it's the longest in a couple of days it's the longest day of the year so the days are so long and now it's going on 10 and I just built us a campfire which is kind of like a blazing inferno but um, it's just fun it's what a beautiful end to just a really peaceful day bless good morning good morning Good morning, come here. Hi. Hello. Hi, sweetheart. Did you have a good sleep? Oh my gosh, you guys. I, I love waking up to this. Sun is shining. I did wake up earlier and I saw a little glimpse of cotton candy sunrise, but it was like four something in the morning. <laughs> and I went back to sleep because, again, no agenda. It's hard to get us both in the frame. It's my girl. <laughs> the crumb. I could get used to this. I don't keep my blinds open at home because I don't like looking out to houses and street. Like, that's just not appealing to me. But if I lived in the woods like this or somewhere else scenic, I would leave my blinds open all the time. Because I love it. It's the best way to wake up. All packed up and ready to go. When he's taking one last rest on the bed there. I've made my brunch of champs here. And the last thing I'll do before I go, after packing up the car, is clean up. Because always tidy up. Leave a place as good or better than you found it. And always tip, friends. Always tip. bunch of champs here and I just wanted to wrap up and just once again reiterate just how much fun this was how peaceful and restful and relaxing it was just the perfect blend of luxury and meets camping I mean yeah it was it felt like staying at a five-star camping ground <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, 
the luxury of the cabin and the all the amenities with it and just the location and it's like you're kind of by yourself but you know there's other people like right there but you're not with them and the location is great for being a little bit remote but accessible to things if you want to do hiking um, more concentrated like nature stuff or if you want to go the other route and do like what I did and and bop around the lakeside towns um, which was so fun so yeah I've packed everything up and uh, checkout is 11 it's only like 10 15 now but I wanted to be able to sit and enjoy my breakfast outside here before hitting the road and also I'm going to stop at the coffee place they recommend that's about 15 minute drive from here. I can't remember if it's Bigby or Bigsby Coffee, but um, it looks like a fun place to get coffee and uh, I thought I'd take Winnie for a walk around wherever that is too before we get on the road. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed coming on this little adventure with me. I so enjoyed sharing it with you. It brings me so much joy to document these things, not only for myself, but also just to to spread the good word about gems like this. And like I said, Getaway has many outpast, outposts dotted around the country. So there might be one near you or near some place you're visiting. And it might be worth um, checking out. I think so. All right. Well, cheers. And I will see you real soon. Thank you for watching and take very good care. Bye. Bye. Seasons come and they go But I hope